Hey guys, Ryu here with Naravid for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you a cool trick on how to rotate an object with a lot of elements in it. So, let's say you got this thing, and you know, all these elements are separate. And as you can see, uh, all of them they have their you know, they have their own origins and they kind of mismatch. Some of them on the left, some of them are in the middle. So, if I'm going to move this, everything is fine. But if I'm going to press RZ and let's say rotate it on Z axis, you see we, we're gonna have a problem, okay. So now how to fix this is really simple. What you need to do is move your cursor first to the geo. So you select everything with A, and then I'm gonna do it with machine tools, okay? Shift S, and I'm gonna move the um, cursor to select it, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna switch this pivot point here to cursor. So I'm gonna be rotating everything around the cursor. And now it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what's the origin of an object or, you know, where it's located. You can see the rotation doesn't actually doesn't move anything uh, out of place. So another way of doing this would be to simply um, uh, drop a cursor somewhere here and then uh, let's say add, um, add an empty. Okay, so let's say add an empty. Then let's uh, press Ctrl I to reverse the selection to select everything except the empty. Shift click on the empty and then Ctrl P and object keep transform. And then you can switch back here to individual origins and you know you can actually rotate the empty and everything is parented which means it's going to move with the empty so it doesn't matter if you rotate it uh, uh, you know around the cursor or um the origin because empty has only one origin so everything is going to follow right so there you go there are two methods of you know uh, fixing that little problem hope you enjoyed the vid guys give us a like and sub if you did and i catch you in the next one